Hi guys and welcome to a new video. Today I have the Samsung Galaxy Tab S 8.4 which is the SMT700 model. So this is the Wi-Fi only version of the Tab S 8.4 inch. And today I'm going to show you how to install Android 6.0.1 Cyanogen Mod 13 to this device. So for that you need to download um, two files, I've downloaded the gapps and the ROM itself here as you can see that these are the gapps and this is the ROM itself CM13 and yeah and today I'm going to show you how to install the CyanogenMod 13 Android 6.0.1 to the Galaxy Tab S so for that you actually need a custom recovery installed um, called TWRP. I won't show you how to install TWRP since there are many other videos showing you how to install this uh, custom recovery to this device. So yeah, the requirements are the ROM itself, the GApps and a custom recovery installed. Um, yeah. So to install this ROM we need to go to the recovery mode and to get into the recovery mode we need to power off our device first. So let me do this. The device is now off and to get into the recovery mode we need to press the volume up, the home button and the power button at the same time until the boot logo appears. After that you need to release these buttons. So the tablet booted now into the recovery mode and before we are going to flash the serum we, we need to perform a uh, wipe so we go into the wipe um, option and perform a factory reset. After this is done you go back again back and then we can go to the install option here and you have to select the um, place where you have stored the ROM in my case it's in the SD card and the external one and then press OK and just select the ROM and install it so now it is flashing the Cyanogen Mod 13 Android 6.0.1 and you just need to wait, it could take about one minute or two. So, and I will going to do a cut here. So it's now finished and um, if you want to have access to Play Store and all the other Google apps, you need to, you need to install the gapps also. Just press on the gapps package and swipe to install and yeah this could also take about one to two minutes as you can see here it's now installing all the google apps like gmail google now and all that stuff like hangouts the play store and all that things so if you do not flash the the g apps packages you won't have any of these apps So the installation of the GApps package is also finished now and you can um, go back and you can wipe it again but you actually don't need to do this and then you can um, just reboot to the system and it will boot the Cyanogen Mod 13 Android 6.0.1 and yeah as you can see this is the Cyanogen Mod 13 boot animation and since this is the first boot it could take over five minutes to boot up um, so just wait until it's it's booted up and yeah I'm going to make a cut here then So and now it is um, optimizing all the apps as you can see here 
and this also could take its time so just need to wait and yeah so it's booted up now and as you can see this is the um, installation screen there are many languages available so it's a multi-language ROM I'm going to select English United Kingdom then you need to um, connect to your Wi-Fi I will skip that now then next next then you need to select your um, time zone it's this and then press next again and you are done so there are two launchers Google Now launcher and and the Triple G, the Triple G is the one from CyanogenMod and the Google Now Launcher is the one from Google. I prefer to use the Triple G one. And yeah, here we go. This is CyanogenMod 13. Um, based on Android 6.0.1 and yes. Let me confirm that. About tablet, it says Android version 6.0.1, and the CyanogenMod version is 13, as you can see. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, please give a thumbs up if you like the video, and yeah, and. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and yeah, peace out.